Good morning guys, I've just landed in Crete. Um, just in a place called Georgeopoly. Sounds like a left back for Blackburn Rovers. Um, as you can see, it's a lovely beach here. There's mountains over the back. Very picturesque. You can see a lot of people are making their way to a chapel, which if you can make out down there, there's like a rocky path. Uh, it's a little bit busy, uh, so I think I'm gonna give that a swerve, but I'll just walk close to it. So I don't know if you see that in the background, that white chapel. Um, but that's in the actual sea. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Georgeopoly is halfway between Rethmano and Hania. Um, there's lots of bars here. There's nice little shops, cafes, tavernas. It's a little bit quiet on the outskirts around here, but in the main square, it's quite busy. It's very pretty. Just have to find my mum. I think she's having a coffee and a, a cake. So that sounds good. I think I'll have a bit of that as well. The Jisha bar. I like the uh, mural, that's pretty cool. There's a tornado uh, coming in at the moment. Uh, it's starting to rain, so I've got a bit of the English weather with me. Surprise, surprise, it's raining where I'm, where I'm filming. Shock horror. Okay, I can see my mum over the back. Let's go and see what she's eating. Okay, I'm just going to have a look through the menu now. This place is called the Sweet House. Um, you've got donuts. We've got some sweets here, caramel cake, lemon pie, pyramid cake, milk chocolate cake, almond cake. Uh, my mum said that's very good, Kanteffi. I think I might try the Kanteffi. Also they've got crepes, crepes, is that you say? Crepes, crepes, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I might, I might go for a, a waffle with chocolate instead, I don't know. Ice creams, milkshakes, so they've got the lot really. Let's have a little look at the sweets over here. How good do they look? Very popular place my mum tells me, so looking forward to trying the sweets. Okay, so the, the puddings have arrived. There's my mum's. What, what did you have? What was that? Lemon pie. Lemon pie? How big's that? Yeah, half a cake more or less. Nice ice cream, bit of cream on the side. And here's mine, it's like a it's like a baklava or something. Yeah, it looks great. Syrup in the in the pastry, ice cream, cream, and there's my milkshake as well. And it's a, a caramel bit of caramel on the bottom as well. And there's my mum's frappe. Okay, let's give this a go. Let's see what this is saying. Nice bit of phyllo pastry. So this syrup's all oozing out. So good that is. That is amazing. Let's have a look at my mum's. So you put into that. Give it a bash. What's it? Tastes like? It's just um, really moist and syrupy. Yeah. But is it like, is it like Nan used to make lemon cake? No, I used to make it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Get it down, yeah? <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, so I'm not going to share. I'm not going to share. Okay. It looks, looks very moist. So. It's called lemon pie, but it looks more like a cake. Yeah. Let's tuck into this, give it a... So it's quite tough on the top. It's all just flaking the phyllo pastry. And you got the nuts inside. Is there cinnamon in there? Um, yeah, also the syrup. So you just break this open a bit. Yeah, all very fresh. Superb. Sweet house. Definitely come out. You won't be disappointed. Great. Okay, I'm going to the milkshake now. Oh man, that's good. That is great. 
liking it a lot. Yes, that was a sweet house. That comes to 18 euros. Really fresh baklava. Can you say that? Bak baklava? Baklava? Yeah. And um, I made a nice lemon cake. Highly recommend it. I came off to that chapel, which is out to the rocks, which you can see over there. Um, left my mum on a sun lounger. She said she had a hard morning eating lemon cake. Tough morning for her. But yeah, it's going to try and go over this terrain. So it's very rocky. It's 100 metres out to sea. So I'm going to try and navigate over this. Yeah, I've been speaking to a couple of people who, who just walked past. They said in the middle it's a bit slippy, so I have to be careful. But yeah, this is something different. I didn't, I didn't know this was here. Um, I wonder what happens if there was a tsunami, <laughs> tsunami here. Would that, would that be washed away? You know. Yeah, hundred meters out to sea. some water in the crevices so hence that's why I think it's slippy it's gonna be careful on foot oh there's a little bit over there coming in wow yeah there's also I think that I don't know if that's a, it looks like another chapel I'm not sure maybe people from Crete could tell me Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nearly went. <laughs> Very slippy. Yeah, it's gotta take me time over, over these rocks. Don't want an accident. Yeah, the water's right up to the rocks. So be very, very careful. One slip and that's it, game over. Oi, oi, look at these little crabs here. Hiding. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we are. Made it. It's all dry now, that's good. Oh. Yeah, I didn't, didn't realize this was here. This is St. Nicholas Church. Look inside. Very small church. Wow. It's a little seat here. They're very quaint. An epic view out here as well. Yeah, apparently they have uh, weddings here as well. So if you want to get married here, by all means get in touch. Say St. Nicholas Church. And it's also known as the protector of seafarers, which I think is quite apt, being as it's out to sea. A very little tiny church indeed, set on some rocks. Very cool. Okay, so that's that done. Yeah, just be careful if you, if you go out there, just in the middle, very slippy. So I nearly broke my neck a couple of times then, but yeah, it's uh, well worth it. I came after some Greek food now. This is the Taverna Babis. This is what my mum's recommended. Let's have a little look. I like this guy, he's on the front of the Taverna. On the, see the sign outside, and he's on the menu. It looks a little bit like me. 
Okay, I've gone for a Fessa Sagnaki in a crust, that's 450 euros. Uh, my mum has gone for a small Greek salad. Um, also, I've gone for a uh, lamb kaleftiko, which I'm excited to try. And my mum's gone for a beef jivetsi uh, with rice. It's a uh, beef and tomato sauce. With, well, it comes with rice, but it says pasta. That's 850. Kaleftiko is 980. Yeah, the salad's come, looks really nice. It's got uh, figs, walnuts, what else do you say? Uh, cheese. Cheese. Honey, Looks thing. lovely. And there's a the saganaki. Turn that over. Okay, it's, uh, there's honey drizzled all over this as well. Wow. Pretty crisp on the top. It's lovely feta cheese inside. Let's give this a bash. You can see that. The feta cheese here is amazing. That is superb. That is great. If you come to Greece, get a Sagnaki. You will not regret it. Pastry is really flake on the top. Is that phyllo pastry? I would think so. Yeah. Really fresh. Superb. I've got to say, this is a cheese lover's delight. The soundness of the feta cheese and the sweetness of the honey interact brilliantly together. You will not be disappointed if you order this. This is outstanding. And that pastry is to die for as well. Superb. Let's look at this salad. Um, I say it's got balsamic vinegar over it. Also, there's, there's grapes in it as well. Uh, I've said a little bit. But I've got to say, the, the tomatoes here really, really fresh. Um, they, they taste like a tomato. You know, back home in England, tomatoes. <laughs> Strawberries, oranges, apples, they all taste the same. Yeah, here, the, the salad is so fresh. It's, it's unbelievable. It's really, really good. Gotta say, that was an enjoyable start. So I'm looking forward to my main. Okay, my food's just arrived. It is my lamb kleftico. It's really good. You've got cheese, lamb baked in the oven. You've got potatoes, you've got carrots, you've got peppers. What's that on the top? Uh, see, is that coriander? Uh, parsley. Parsley. Okay, you've got some juices from the lamb in the actual meal. And some onion. Yeah, really looking forward to trying that bit of tomato. And this is my mum's beef juvetsi. Uh, we see the rice, the, the beef. Looks very, very good. Nice bit of cheese, yeah. Okay, let's give this a whirl. So you see that cheese just melts in there. Can <laughs> you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, lamb cleft coat. That lamb just falls apart. So succulent. Oh, it's great. That is. That's mega. Really good. How's yours? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Really tasty. Yeah, it's got rice, cheese, cheese beef. I think it's beef stock and this yeah. is beef, but it's really like yeah. stew. So it's the beef circular. falling apart, is it as well? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. So the lamb with the, with the cheese on, you can see that. I've got a wasp or a fly around me. Great, great timing. But yeah, don't you see that? The, the cheese all around the lamb there. But that lamb falls apart, it's been in the oven. That is superb. Outstanding. Can't switch high enough for this. This is a great meal. Very heartwarming and filling as well. So I don't think I'll need anything else for the rest of the day. Stuffed. Okay, done. Let's mop up this bit of juice. 
Mensa. There you go. Lovely jubbly. Okay, we just had a, a little complimentary pudding come through. Here you've got Greek yogurt with uh, cherries that's been infused with uh, some kind of alcohol. And also we've got some uh, recce, recce, yeah, which I've got here. Salut. Wow, that's got a kick. Okay, that was the Babis Taverna. That was a great meal. Highly recommend you go there. Still have some Babis to look after you. Uh, that, that racky has absolutely blew my head off and the heavens have just opened so I don't know if the tornado is coming but I think this is a good time to sign off so like, comment, share, subscribe and I'll see you next one. Cheers. Say bye. bye. <laughs>